dysfunctional vet with IMET training and this is going to be hosted by K-Dog and his beautiful wife Daisy. What we have right here is a thermal camera, camera which we will get to in just a moment, a flashlight, an inspection light, and a laser pointer. Each one of these things has its own purpose and let's look at one other light before we continue. These are work lights. All lights have some specific application. In this case, these are semi-stationary. They are movable. They are movable, but generally they'll be stationary during the time that you're working unless they have to be moved to illuminate a different area. As a rule, these lights are not used as flashlights or inspection lights. They are used generally as a general lighting. A laser pointer is frequently used in education or inspections where several people are involved and they're discussing various things. For example, can you see the beam on there? Where you would be pointing something out that you wanted someone else to see. The beauty of using a laser is that you don't have to be up close to be able to point out something for someone else to see. This particular laser is a green laser. This is an inspection light. <laughs> this is an inspection light. And how is this used? Now this can dual as a flashlight, but generally speaking, it's considered for up close inspection. Moving back over to this trailer, let's say that we want to look at some welds up close and we want some light on them. We would come in and you can use ob oblique lighting. This is oblique. That is direct. Sometimes you'll see things with oblique lighting that you cannot see with direct lighting. Try this on a floor with dust and you'll be able to see footprints and such. But the, um, the lighting like this is a direct lighting where you're up close and personal. This will pass for a normal everyday flashlight, but the purpose of this is to get in and, for example, in this case, look at welds. As you can see, there's no, as you can see, there's no welds on the inside, but there's a weld on the outside here. A flashlight is considered a general purpose move dogs I'm being surrounded a general purpose a flashlight is general purpose light for seeing into a dark area in this case underneath this trailer now there are different types of flashlights this particular flashlight is considered a tactical flashlight because it's extremely bright this is a work light and I'm illuminating the kennel area with the puppies and I know some of you are going to be kind of unhappy if you can't see them so we'll take a quick look. There. This is algae right here. We're standing at the same location as the work lights and this is a flashlight. Now this is a pretty intense and bright, but you can tell a difference in the quality of the light. This is pretty much a selected beam, whereas the work light lit up everything so that you were able to see. This is the inspection light. As you can see, the flashlight gave much more working area, whereas the inspection light, now you're able to see over there but it's really directed as far as what you can see. By the way, that's firewood. That is shadow.